What's a movie that no human should ever suffer through? Gotti. Found it on Netflix and thought it was a cool made by Netflix telling of his story. It's not. It stars John Travolta in the title role and is I think a made for TV movie that happens to be on Netflix. It is excruciatingly bad. You're waiting for it to get better. And waiting. And waiting. It will not get better. It will anger you and destroy your faith in movies and the world in general. Avoid? I watched it three years ago accidentally and I am still angry. Repeat avoid. Dragon Ball Evolution. Mean Girls 2. Cats. A Wrinkle in Time. You had one job. What the hell is this movie? It literally skipped the entire end, the part that had most of the character development, IT is entirely different, and some stuff, which, just in case, I won't spoil. The entire movie industry of the country of Serbia has been stained by one particular movie. Cats. My wife and I put it on a few weekends ago hate watch and riff on it, but we weren't prepared for quite how bad that was. Cats. That Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Why was that made? Geely. Live action Avatar The Last Airbender. The Emoji Movie. Even the kids who were so amped to see it were bored. Human Centipede 1, 2, or 3. I was bored one day and watched all three. Steer clear. Jaws the Revenge. Just tried to watch it and made it only halfway. Terrible. Jack and Jill I do not wish this on my worst enemies. A Serbian film. Homs Watson. A movie so terrible, the studio said it should never see the light of day. TV warned it would never be aired, and yet for some reason, Netflix selected to ignore both and put it out there anyway. It's rare I give up on a movie before it even starts but based on the trailer, I didn't even bother. The reviews and all the backlash it got seemed to support my decision. The Sherlock Holmes with Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. I think I made it ten minutes in before giving up. Son of the Mask. Mac and me. Paul Rudd turned it into a funny bit on Conan but do not be fooled. I have never in my life felt such horrific boredom. An absolute disgrace. Kirk Cameron's Saving Christmas. Space Jam A New Legacy. There was a Russian horror film my husband rented back in the 90s. It was two VHS tapes and seemed to be nothing other than two men with big guns shooting at each other while running through a large field of massive cement tunes. To make it even better, Hubby forgot the VHS tapes in his trunk and so we had to pay $100 plus lost movie fee because it was a special order import. A Serbian film. Seriously. Don't make my mistake. You cannot unsee this. Eragon. Edit for spelling error. Highlander to the Quikening. Anything directed by Yui Bowl. Battlefield Earth. The Last Airbender. Did anyone else watch USA Up all night? Cause everything there counts. I remember hanging out with friends watching those terrible movies lol. Example School Spirit 1985. Fifty Shades of Grey. Human Centipede. Showing my age here. Bolero. Horrible movie. All it was for was to have writer-director John Derrick say, See my wife Bo Derrick naked? Isn't she hot? Huh? She's hot, right? Yeah, you get to see her naked but I get to tap that I bet you're so jealous. The movie was so bad I was feeling ill by the end of it. It's Pat the movie. Rain Man 2 sucked. I think it was only sold on VHS at Kmart. Food fight. Don't. You've been warned, reader. Thanks Killing 3. Glitter. Edit oh man. Did I stir up some shit? LOL. Mule feathers with Don Knotts. And I like Don Knotts. It was so bad I kept watching it I received it as a gift decades ago on VHS thinking I was missing something and that it would get better. It didn't. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. The 70s version with the Bee Gees, P. 
Peter Frampton and every C-list movie actor they could find. A literal crime against humanity. I remember a critic referring to it as a pile of burning dog shit. Manus Hands of Fate